Greetings, YouTube. Joe here with Colonation Media, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon White. This is episode number 15, and in this episode, well, we're going to be thwarting Team Plasma yet again, this time in Castelia City, because apparently Bianca has had her Pokemon stolen from her, and uh, that was, I guess, what all the ruckus was about with Berg and him saying something about Team Plasma or something like that in the last episode. I don't know exactly what it's all about, but apparently uh, this girl Iris is with Bianca and she said that um, her Pokemon was stolen. So we need to get it back. Having said that, finding a person or a Pokemon here in Castilia City will be like finding a needle in a haystack. Very true, Berg. Very true. The city is huge. I spy a gym leader. The last time went so well I thought I'd grab another Pokemon. Rethinking. I need to get out of here. And the Team Plasma Grunt runs off, so I guess that's the lead that we need. Berg's gonna run off after the Team Plasma Grunt, and apparently Bianca and Iris are just going to stay here and wait it out, at least for now. So we need to be prepared for battle because when we do catch up to him, we do need to battle. I'm gonna keep Tim pulled out in the front, and uh, off we go. We're gonna get right into the thick of things. Okay, so where we need to be is the street with the gym. So that's the last street over. And it should be up this way. There's Berg. That way. Mm-hmm. There, heading toward the gym. And off he goes down the street. And we need to follow him. And on the left-hand side, you'll run into a bunch of Team Plasma members confronting Berg in front of this building here. This is definitely the place. Yeah, I would say you're about right on that. No one's here, not a soul, no other Team Plasma members, nor any of the Seven Sages. If you think I'm lying, why don't we have a little battle and find out? Alright, so apparently Berg is going to get double teamed here by two of them at once, and we only have to fight one, so we get the easier end of the stick. But after all, he is a gym leader. G gym leader, why did I say it like that? A gym leader. I don't have an accent like that in real life. Alright, so this Team Plasma Grant is going to start off with a Sandile at level 17. It's a ground and dark type, so we have just the advantage over this thing because uh, we should be able to take it out in one hit with Bubble Beam. Nice. Down it goes, and it didn't even have the Intimidate ability, not that it would have mattered. And uh, that's going to allow Timpole to grow up to level 21, and another Sandile is the replacement Pokemon, so we're just going to stick with Timpole. And uh, we'll get rid of this thing in one hit yet again with a bubble beam. Down it goes. We get some experience. And yeah, that was a pretty easy battle, huh? Come on, seriously? Yeah, seriously. This is bad. Bad, 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 bad. I think I said too many bads. Bad for Team Plasma, or Plasbad for short. Plasbad. I'm so going to use that. It's Plasbad. Phew, we got lost, even with directions from the X-Transceiver. Yeah, Castelli is huge, and after all, you probably aren't so good with directions, are you? Just saying. Okay, this time I'll join the fight, and Bianca and Iris are going to head in, and uh, I guess all we have left to do is follow them. And now we're going to have a little cutscene, so to speak, with a lot of talking. It's Getsis. My word, if it isn't the gym leader, Berg... So, what would you say is the guiding principle of Team Plasma? Anyway, take what you want from people? I thought it would be amusing to prepare a hideout right in front of a Pokemon gym, but we were detected more quickly than I had imagined. Indeed. No matter, we already have an exceptional base of operations. Is everyone familiar with the legend of the founding of the Unova region? I am, it's the white dragon type Pokemon, right? Wow, Iris. Apparently you uh, have a lot of knowledge about this stuff. The truth is, the white dragon appeared before a hero who sought the true way to knit together a world full of many warring people. This white dragon type Pokemon shared its knowledge and bared its fangs at those who stood against it. Together the, poke the power of this Pokemon and the hero brought unity to the hearts of everyone in the land. And that is how Unova was created. I like how he paces around. We shall bring back the hero and that Pokemon to Unova once again. If we can win people's hearts and minds, we can easily create the world that I, I mean, 
Team Plasma desires. Ah, you tripped up there. Here in Castellia, we have a lot of different kinds of people. Everyone's ways of thinking and lifestyles are very different. Honestly, there's something about what you're trying to say that I don't understand. One thing we all have in common is that we all care for Pokemon. Evil pe even people meeting for the first time can talk about Pokemon. And remember your speech at Cumulatown. You were responsible for leading me to rethink my relationship. For that, I thank you. But at the time I made a promise, I swore to myself that I would dedicate myself to Pokemon more strongly than before. And yes, Berg has quite the speech here. You are quite hard to figure out, a little more intelligent than I'd expected. I'm fond of intelligent people, you see. From every corner of the world, I have gathered knowledgeable people for our king's benefit. You could call them the Seven Sages. Very well, we will submit to your opinion and be on our way. That girl over there, return her Pokemon. Okay, so Bianca's going to get her Muna back. Which is what we were after in the first place, so I guess this mission is a success. The thank you, Muni, I'm so glad to see you again. Bianca, why are you thanking them? They take people's Pokemon. It's just I'm so, so happy that Muna is back. The friendship between Pokemon and people... Blah, blah, blah. He's not saying anything important here. He's basically just saying that the friendship between Pokemon and Trainer is not as important as taking all of the Pokemon away from the Trainer so that the Pokemon can be free. And then off he goes. Alright. It's okay. Thank you, Iris. No one was hurt more than anything. I got my darling Pokemon back again. What is everyone planning to do now? Oh, it would be sensational to look around Castellia City, but... Oh, Iris is freaking out. I'll keep on being your bodyguard. Mm-hmm, that's great. Okay, so I guess Iris and Bianca are going to go touring the city. Well, good luck with that. Also, thanks for looking for the Pokemon. Here, this is for you, and it's a Yachi Berry, or Yachi, Yachi, or Yash, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Uh, it decreases the power of super effective ice moves. And that's mainly effective on, uh, well, I guess, flying Pokemon and dragons as well. Pick up the Smoke Ball there, which just allows you to escape from wild Pokemon in a pinch, pretty much. And, yes, Berg went back to the gym, so we are free to challenge him whenever we want, but I am not nearly uh, high enough, as far as levels go, to be able to challenge the gym, because I had a difficult time with the second gym, and I haven't really uh, gained any levels since then. Alright, well this is the last dancer guy that we have to fight, and I didn't forget about that, so we're gonna do that now. And I forget which monkey he has. Um, I'm pretty sure I already fought Panpour and Pan Sage, so I'm guessing that this is gonna be uh, Pan Seer, the fire type. So if that's the case, uh, we'll be in good shape with Timple. Alright, dancer Raymond, and he has indeed a Pan Seer, the fire type, at level 21 which matches our level, uh, and just that alone should be enough to set off some uh, red flags of some sort, because this is just a random trainer in Castellia City, and it's an optional trainer at that, but his only Pokemon's at level 21, so the gym leader's Pokemon has to be quite higher than that, so I need to definitely do some training, uh, I'm going to probably go out to Route 4, and then we're also going to do, um... Uh, blah, 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 what you call it? The... Battle... Company. There we go, Battle Company. I was about to say Battle Tower. I just wanted to say Battle Tower so badly, for whatever reason. Like, totally. Okay, that's enough of that. I'm going to talk to these people to see if they have anything for me. I don't think they do, but there's somebody somewhere close to here that gives you a TM. And I just want to make sure that I'm not missing it. But I don't think it's these people, but I guess I'd rather play it safe here. And now we can go back and talk to the dancers because we actually get an item for bringing them all together. There they are. They look so cool. Thanks, man. I've got the best team in the world here. That's how I feel. And you get an amulet coin, which is very valuable. Any Pokemon that's holding that and that takes place or takes part in a battle will double your earnings from that battle and it doesn't wear off it's obviously a held item you can use it as many times as you want 
and it's amazing. So we're going to give Blitzel the amulet coin for now, so that any battle that he takes part in, uh, we're going to get double the money, and that's a great way to uh, build up your earnings and your savings and whatnot. Uh, so I'm going to be using that uh, as much as I possibly can. Uh, oh, he's talking about the musical. That's in Nimbasa City. I'm not going to be going over the musical because I think it's a ridiculous addition to a Pokemon game. So I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, while we're here, we might as well go in these uh, buildings here that I haven't been into. I talked with a lot of people upstairs. Awesome. So apparently this is a party of some sort. And what do you have to say? Nothing. Do you want to go up? Oh, I sure do. I need to check you. Frisk, frisk, frisk. Whoa, it's getting frisky. Oh, it's over. That didn't take long. Well, now we can go upstairs, though. Okay, we're going to take the elevator up to the only floor we can go up to, and apparently there's some type of party going on up here. And there is actually an item that you can get here, so this isn't a complete waste. A lot of the people here will speak different languages. Like, that seemed... I don't know if that was Dutch or if it was German. But, yes, there's also people that speak Italian and, I think, French, Spanish, stuff like that. Oh, your Pokemon are so charming! I'm a cute Pokemon, too, so why you can use this. And it is TM45 Attract. I can't stand that TM, I can't stand that move in general. But, now we have it. Alright, what do you have to say? Ciao! Uh, I'm guessing that is Italian. This is Spanish. And, oh, I don't know. But basically, they were just saying, asking if you had a good time. The Spanish lady asked, or said that she's going to bring her friends next time. And all that stuff, but nothing that we need to concern ourselves with. Okay, well, let's go check out the other buildings before we call it an episode. Oh, I'm ready to get some training done. I'm tired of having a somewhat weak team. It's just not cool. Okay, so this is the, uh, well, he's the feeling reader, or she, and this is the name reader over here on the right, so you can nickname your Pokemon if you so choose, and I'm not going to be doing that because I don't really like the whole nickname thing. I never did. I've never really nicknamed my Pokemon. I don't know why, but I just never have, even since uh, I was a kid. All the way back in 1996, when I first started playing Pokemon, I just never nicknamed anyone. Okay, so this guy right here, um, you need a password for him. That's actually somewhat of an event. Uh, when the games first came out and you had the uh, shiny Suicune, Entei, and Raikou thing with, I think, Celebi and, uh, what was it, Zoroark? Or whatever. I don't even know if Celebi was involved in that, but I know Zoroark was. Uh, so, yeah, that's all that is. I'm not going to go into that because it is an event. And in this building over here, uh, what do we have? Anything interesting? My Patrat's ability is keen eye. Okay. As if I didn't know that already. And yeah, thankfully this is going to be the last of uh, exploring Castelia City. Anyway, if you talk to this scientist right here, he'll evaluate your Pokedex. We have 26, so uh, he's going to give us Eviolite, which increases both the defense and special defense of the Pokemon holding the item. The only catch is that it can only uh, have a positive effect on a Pokemon who is not evolved and still needs to evolve. So I don't think it works on Pokemon that don't have an evolution. It needs to be a baby, so to speak. When I gaze down at the city, I'm scared of... Uh, whatever. He's scared of heights. Cool. What do you want? Me oh my! Oh, this guy is going to explain all the badges to you and the effects from getting each badge. But again, not interested in that at the moment, but if you are, now you know where he is. And uh, that's all the buildings, I think. So we're good to go here. And to the north here is going to be Route 4. It is a desert area. And before I go out there, let's give, I guess, Timpole the uh, Evil Light for now to buff up his defenses. Because he needs it. He always is getting killed. Okay, we can go straight on through, and uh, yeah, this is the gate to Route 4. I'm going to stop here, guys. In the next episode, we're going to go out there, we're going to train a little bit, see what else we can do before uh, going to the Battle Company, and then eventually uh, the Castellia Gym to take on Berg. 
Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for episode number 16. Game on.